afternoon. What a beautiful day we're having. Oh my. Look at my hair. Excuse me, guys. Listen, I just had a little bit of um, revelation I wanted to share with y'all. Oh, it's so beautiful. So, like, I always knew, like, for whatever reason, I was always for the underdog. Like, like, you know, leave him alone, you know. I always, like, for instance, let's say that, okay, I personally haven't had an abortion, but I've always stood up for people that were getting condemned for having an abortion. Like, I ain't never been able to figure it out, but that's just that spirit in me is just like a, like a, like a, a mama bear coming out. Leave them alone. Get off of them. Well, then I got to thinking, you know, I was just explaining to um, a dear person to me, you know, when I was telling them about how I fell in love with Jesus. When I started falling in love with Jesus was when, like, I started following him. Like, I heard the name. I just heard the name and knew he died on the cross. And I'd heard that. Um... But they were all stories to me up until the time I really actually started knowing Jesus. But then when I set out, I was like, you know what? Screw them uh, religious, you know, them people that beat you up because of your mistakes. Well, anyways, I just went to the Bible and I just started reading. I literally started following Jesus. I want to know about his life. I want to know where he was from. Did he have brothers? You know, just kind of get to know him a little bit. And then the more I started, the more I followed him, the more and more I would receive. Like I'd be, I was intimately, intimately getting to know Jesus. Well, and it makes sense because, you know, we, 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 a lot of people, a lot of people have a God, you know, um, and they pray to God and they want things to work out. Whatever God's will is, you know, just, just to give it to God. Okay, that's good and all, but here, here's the thing of it. Here's the kicker of it. If you ain't got a relationship with his son, I mean intimately, like falling in love with Jesus. Let's put God over here to the side for a second. Falling in love with Jesus. When we actually get connected with Jesus, the son, his son, the more and more God reveals to us his mysteries. So the scripture where it says, you know, the only way to God is through his son, Jesus. That's true because I really had never known God the way I know him now until I fell in love with Jesus. And now I know this amazing, wonderful, loving father. And I think that's probably the reason why people are so uptight, but say, God, it don't make sense because, well, they haven't fell in love with Jesus. They hadn't just put their God or their idea of a God to the side. Just go research Jesus. What do they have to lose? I mean, really, if you can sit and read 10 hours of Facebook post or, or you know, go to the grocery store for 30 minutes, you can surely just follow Jesus for about a week or two. Hey, if it ain't for you, you ain't lost nothing. But my God, if you get to meet God through Jesus, huh, hey, them two weeks are going to be worth it. I'm here to tell you. Then you're going to find out. You ain't as bad as everybody told you you was, and you'll all, you'll start enjoying life. But anyways, I just want to share that with y'all. But well, all I'm trying to say is the reason why I think that I'm so de like defending people that are getting picked on is because J Jesus is among us. He is like okay, the least among your circles, the person that you have the least. A bit of interest in getting to know them or anything. The least person in your circle that you would think anything about. That's Jesus. That's where Jesus is. Jesus is the least among us. In in the in that that person, not the one on the cell phone with the business suit and you know two three bill in the bank, whatever. Um, it's not, it's in the least among you. So that's probably why you're falling in love with Jesus. I just have this fighting spirit to just tell people to just leave weak people alone. Look, we all are equal. Look, we all equal when it comes to sins. The same amount of sins every single human being has. Hey, if we all on the same level... 
that's a that's an awesome playing field to just love on others, accept them for who they are. That's the only chance we got uh, of, of having better than all this. All right, y'all, have a good day. I just had to share that with somebody. I'm feeling good today. It's probably all this sunshine out here. Oh, Lord. Bye.